God of War Ragnarok is the latest game from Sony to jump ship from PlayStation over to the PC. Released back in 2022 on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, the game was released to rave reviews and many, many awards. But how does the PC version hold up? Starting off with VRAM usage, thankfully, considering this game was released on the PlayStation 4, the VRAM usage, especially on low, is pretty minimal, with only 5GB used when you're playing at 900p on low quality settings. Bumping that up to 4K does increase the usage up to about 7.5GB, while boosting everything to Ultra adds about 2GB to everything, with it now being just over 7GB at 900p and about 9.5GB at 4K. So pretty light on the VRAM requirements, but how does that translate to performance? At 1080p ultra quality settings, the ARC A750 holds the bottom line at 31.2 FPS, and since this game is playable on PS4 at 30 FPS, this would be a pretty like-for-like -like comparison, though with much higher graphical fidelity. NVIDIA's lowest entry, the RTX 3050, produces a little over 39 FPS, then we get a nice red wall of AMD, ranging from the RX 5700 XT at 45, all the way up to the 7600 XT at 53.9. And that kind of sets the stage for the rest of this video. AMD and Intel cards are underperforming, at least at launch, giving Nvidia cards a boost, at least in comparison. If you're looking for a 60 FPS experience, as you would get on PlayStation 5, you can achieve that with an RTX 4060, or on AMD, currently an RX 6700 XT. If you're looking for 100 FPS, you can get that with an RTX 4070 or an RX 7900 GRE. While the fastest cards are all NVIDIA, with the RTX 4090 bringing in 168 FPS, and even the RTX 3090 Ti beating out the RX 7900 XTX at 134.6. The bump to 1440p does boost AMD's relative performance by a little bit, and now the RX 7900 XT and the RTX 4070 Ti are basically tied at just over 100 FPS. 60 FPS can now be achieved with an RX 7700 XT or an RTX 4060 Ti in either variation, while 30 FPS is now held down by the RX 6600 or the RTX 3050. The bump to 4K does continue to help the relative performance of the AMD and Intel cards, but the increase in resolution does push down the playable performance to an RX 6700 XT or an RTX 4060. For 60 FPS, you're going to need an RTX 4070 Super or an RX 7900 XT with the GRE model falling just a bit short. And the top dog is still on top with the RTX 4090 achieving 108 FPS.